doing ministry in China and other parts of the world where Christians are literally being killed because they refuse to deny Jesus Christ. They're in church because they love Jesus. They're in church because they're truly born again, right? An ex gang banger who became born again grabbed me by my shoulders because one day I was literally standing online waiting to go into a church event and I was crying looking at how people on the line was pushing elderly people out the way and this person says to me grab me by my shoulders like stop crying everybody in church is not saved now the basic thing that you can do as just a decent human being is have manners and respect when you're communicating with people about anything right and to interrupt someone and not say excuse me as they're talking to someone else what is that I'm going to start doing episodes called What's Up With Church Folk, right? Because again, as you know, my testimony, I did not grow up in church. I got saved on an airplane. So I wasn't taught church, church, right? So I'm standing in the lobby and this has happened more times than I care to even count. Standing in the lobby, waiting for someone that either invited me to the church or I'm coming to speak at the church, speaking at a women's event, just coming to participate, right? To join in with other brothers and sisters in Christ. So I'm standing in the lobby, waiting either for the doors to the sanctuary to open or waiting to meet someone at the front. And I see people talking. So I tend to stand off to the side and watch people, right? I, I love watching people. And as I'm watching people communicate or talk with each other, I will see mostly, I, I very rarely see this with men. And maybe it's because I'm not looking at men as they're talking to each other. Um, or maybe because when men are talking to each other in church and another man walks up, another one of the men who are talking puts their arm, you know, pats the guy in the back and says, hey, this is, you know, introduces, hey, Tom, this is Bob or Sean, this is, you know, Michael, right? I, I noticed that. But when it comes to women, and this is nothing against women, I love women, I'm a woman, right? If you believe that there's a thing as women, but we won't go there. So two women are talking, Mary and Sue are having a conversation. Then a woman comes, another woman comes up and starts talking to Mary, does not say, excuse me, doesn't introduce themselves to Sue. Mary doesn't even introduce the person to Sue. They just start talking. Their back is to the other person, or even they are facing the other person, but not even acknowledging them. And then they finish having the conversation with Mary and then they walk away and then Mary and Sue continues to talk. And I have yet to see the Sue in this situation not look uncomfortable because they don't even know what to do, right? So why do you think it is okay to have, to interrupt a conversation? Do not say, excuse me. Do not introduce yourself to the other person. Do not even acknowledge the other person. And the first time I saw this happening or real started noticing it is right before I had left the United States to go to South Korea. So back in 2007, 2008, when I was really involved in churches, well, I've been involved in churches here in the United States since 2005, right? But when I started really understanding that everybody in church is not a child of God, everybody in church is not born again. And that realization came where an ex gang banger who became born again, grabbed me by my shoulders because one day I was literally standing online, waiting to go into a church event. And I was crying, looking at how people on the line was pushing elderly people out the way. And this person says to me, grab me by my shoulders, like, stop crying. Everybody in church is not saved. Now I had been saved for about a year and a half. So I was still learning church. Oh, obviously I was learning God and reading my Bible and all of that. But I, I really thought that every single person that would go to church every Wednesday night, Friday night, Thursday night prayer, Sunday morning, Sunday evening, that they're all born again, love Jesus Christ. And that is not the case. It is absolutely not the case, specifically here in the United States. Doing ministry in China and other parts of the world where Christians are literally being killed 
because they refuse to deny Jesus Christ. They're in church because they love Jesus. They're in church because they're truly born again, right? But here in the United States where everyone calls themselves, well, not everyone, people who go to churches say they are Christian. Well, no, you go to church because your mom made you go. And this is the place, this is the thing you do. But your behavior screams who you belong to and your behavior towards other people. The basic thing that you can do as just a decent human being is have manners and respect when you're communicating with people about anything, right? And to interrupt someone and not say, excuse me, as they're talking to someone else. What is that? Like, what is that? And the couple of times that has happened to me where I'm having a conversation with someone and someone comes up to me, it's like, oh, we wait, wait, wait. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. This is Mary. Mary, this is such and such. And we know how to say, excuse me. When you turn red, when I do that, that's let me know which side or whose side you're on, whose kingdom you're in. Because I should not have to be the one to tell you that you're being disrespectful to someone else. Even if you don't know that person, they're in a church building and they are supposedly your brothers and sisters in Christ. So now we know how you were raised. You're not being raised by God or the Holy Spirit, by the way. Holy Spirit isn't raising you right? You're letting us know how your parents raised you or the lack of respect you have for your parents if they did raise you right. So my question is, what's up with church folk and the lack of respect that they show each other? Just asking. <laughs>